Hey folks, Alex here. Today we're playing six cats. Fuck! Today we're playing six cats under. Uh oh, did I just die? Oh my god! I was joking! Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, that sounds like someone I know. How clumsy of me. Ring is more dangerous than I thought. Oh my god! Oh no, what about my precious kitties stuck in this apartment? How will they survive? Must get the front door open so they can run free. And my favorite horror stories. Oh, they're British. Ghosts can communicate by influencing their environment. Let me see if there's anything in the room that can help. It's just like Ghost Trick. Oh, thank god I don't have to use arrow keys. My right arrow key is busted. That's Frederick. He's a very sleepy boy. Usually I can only get his attention if there's tasty food involved. This tin of beans is heavy when I can't move it. That's what I mean by superfood. Now we have power to open these heavy doors. Oh dear, what a mess. But never mind that, I need to find a way to help my precious kids escape the apartment. You stiff don't have enough strength to open it. That for someone who's still living in the land of the living, can I knock the goldfish off the shelf? An open bag of fish food, my ghostly fingernails aren't enough, sharp enough to rip it open. This rate, even poor Goldie will starve. It won't budge. Too empty into every frame of me to move. Can I set it on fire? Yes, I can. I'm too weak to open this. Aerobic exercises clearly don't carry over to the afterlife. Weak, weak. Ah. Can't see this being helpful right now. I get this to go up. Oh, hello there, Mr. Spock. You know, he's usually quite shy, but catnip turns him into a bit of a rascal. Last week, he tore up my new curtains. Um, pot of catnip, so my cats really go wild for it. Aha! It was too big for me to move even back when I was alive. What? What is that? Do we need to turn it and then do it again? Maybe not. Ah, oh, Baroness, she sure does like the TV, especially when I'm watching my baking shows. So cute. My taste in decorations is impeccable till the very end. Never would have kept all these heavy books if I'd known how dangerous they were. How many photos, what precious memories. I do hope my sweet babies find a new home when I'm gone. That's so sad. Or now that I'm gone. Aha! I need to... Uh, uh. Oh no. I'm gonna have to kill Goldie, aren't I? Oh god. Anya and Clancy. Oh, they both loved it in the hammock, I don't blame them, it looks very cozy. Knitting biscuit is a bit too heavy for someone for me to push. Is there someone stronger can manage? That's Spongebob. They're too heavy. Cake. Cat gets locked in. Nothing useful here, I'm afraid. Only weekly issues of fav favorite issues of Cats Weekly. That's Pumpkin. I wish you would get try and get along with the other kitties. There's no taming that little missy. Outside, life goes on. How long will it take for my neighbors to realize I'm gone? Bye? Uh huh. Oh, we have to go to the strength to move my bed. Looks like Edgar's having a snooze. His favorite nap times are more mid morning, noon, early afternoon, late afternoon, and mid evening. He slips most of the night, too. I wish that was me. Uh, I think that's Pickle in there. She's a very fussy eater. This is Jeffrey. He's such a clever boy and easily spooked. Might make him the easiest cat to influence. Doot, doot. Oh. Hello, kitty. Just the fires don't seem to be strong enough to open the door. Room? Toilet paper? Oh my god, there are more cats in here. Rose-scented kitty litter smells like <laughs> more like old candy floss, but the cats like it. 
Input for me, shampoo for kitties, custom shop and mirrors, the more you know. Ah! Uh -huh. What? That's a lot of cats. Rufus, what a cutie. He has the softest fur. It sniffles. He likes chilling in the bathroom. I wish I could give him a cuddle. Deborah is probably looking for leftover treats from her last trip to the vet. Wouldn't have enough litter boxes, no one wants a queue. Nothing there. What if I fly in? Yeah. Hmm. Can I turn the sink on? Can it overflow? Hello? Hmm. Budge. That fell down already. Fly up here still. Open the window again if I want to. You all Jeffrey? You are all Jeffrey. Light? Ah. I see. Gotta lock in. Ah. Okay, he's already. Oh! Goody. Oh, and then he comes over here. I'll get you to go back over there. I don't know if I can get him to go back over there. And back on. Don't budge. Hey, it's the thing. Empty and open for me to move. Nothing? This has been on. Bean's gotta go in the pot, probably. Hmm. Cat ran all the way over here. Did I need anything from over here? I don't think I did. Hold on. Let me. Oh. Hold on. I need to lock in. So, it's cat thunder. Oh. All right, we read this. Break that. This is the thing. Flip catnip. You scratch, 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 turn that off. Squeaky, squeaky. On. Um, that's my scratch job. Leave that off because it'll drive me insane. Let the fly in, turn the light on. Bajillion cats on the screen this time. Can't 
turn the light off. Let's get the cat. He runs past. He comes up. He hits the thing. Okay, so you need your baking channel. Squeaky, squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky. Jump up, flip. Come back to over here. Well, that's how I get him to go back over. Okay. Jump up, land in the water. You end up back over here again. You dart over. Come here again. Gotta be something. Not the stove. That's not it. Hmm. I get more catnip at all or no? Doesn't look like it. Anything else that can influence? Beans, sleepy boy. Freezer door. Press the stove. Does this need to overflow anymore? I don't think so. Up, you get in the sink. Run back over here. Doesn't do anything. It only scares you if you're right next to it. Flush. You get attacked by Baroness. Did your thing. Does this do anything at all? Maybe it stops you from running? Ah. There we go. Oh, poor Goldie. That's unfortunate. The beans. Oh my god. I'm so smart. Oh my god. That was a cute game. Bye bye kitties. And that was Six Cats Under. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Hasta luego.